All right, dear friends. You guys ready for some banjo? I'm actually kind of excited. <laughs> I love this game so much. Woo, we in there. I have eight jiggies. We're really moving up in the world. All right, I said last time that I wanted to remember to get the Jinjo from the first, the first level of Logbox before I continue. So I think I'm missing one Jinjo in here. Yeah, I am. So we'll do that first. Who likes collect thons anymore? I know, I always liked collect -a thons though. Even though they waned in popularity, I think it's because people were just not making good ones. You know what I mean? Like, and then games like Hat in Time really like brought back the genre, you know? All right, keep an eye out for a Jinjo. Where could it be? It's probably up here somewhere, right? Jinjo, Jinjo. Welcome back, Nerdarts. We swapped over to Nuts and Bolts. That's what. Sh what that's what's happened. It was taking me a long time to get to Zoro's Domain, so I was like, we'll just stop here and play Nuts and Bolts. Because I promised I was going to play Nuts and Bolts tonight. And now I'm looking for a Jinjo. So if you, like, if you see a Jinjo, like, yell at me. Where could it be? I hate this world so much. It's really, like visually noisy, you know what I mean? There's just so much going on, it's hard to like, see anything. And it's especially hard to find a Jinjo. Maybe it's like really up. See, I like the music here, but that's my that's the only thing I like about this level. The Jinjo does not show on the map. I wish it did. You kind of have to just locate them. It shows on the map, I think if you get close to it. Maybe. Uh, maybe it's down after all. I don't know, maybe it's in here. Wow, this is going really well. I am stuck. <laughs> I just heard a hay back there? Maybe. I didn't hear anything. Oh, wait, maybe. Is it behind? There? No. Also, I think the robots also kind of say some weird things sometimes, too. This vehicle is terrible. I hate it. <laughs> I suppose I could always make another one. Oh, there's notes. Guess we can get notes.
feel like I'm making some sort of progress. <laughs> You've never actually never seen footage of this game before? It's great, dude. Underrated. Ever so slightly underrated. I think I think that there's some justification to why people didn't like it back then, but the game is kind of ahead of its time. Do police pull you over in this game? You can be chased by police um, if you're while you're grabbing jiggies in Showdown Town, but it doesn't really affect you that badly. They're just kind of annoying, and they don't really stop you. They just attack you and knock you over. Like, actually, where is this Jinjo? Like, what? Am I tripping? There's definitely a Jinjo in here. Crap. Yo, what's up, E-Mans? Here to witness the great Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts gameplay. It's truly fantastic. I'm just gonna hover into these. These notes suck. Oh my god. I just want this one note. Oh. There we go. It is. It's too convoluted a map to navigate. I can't. I, I hate how this is the second world in the game. Because, like, the other worlds are so much better. Like, Jigosium is great because it's it's op wide open. It has some of the best challenges in the game. That's, like, level three, I think. No, Banjo Land is level three. The But the Jigosium is really good. The Banjo Land is incredible. It's got a lot of references to old Banjo games. You know, Nuts uh, Nutty Acres, the first world, is really good. Very open. Lots to do. This is just very closed in and visually noisy and hard to navigate. The Terrarium of Terror is kind of hard to navigate, but at least it's like a cool level. <laughs> I know there's a Jinjo here. We're not gonna spend all goddamn day looking for this Jinjo, please. I've gone like every inch, I've, I've touched every inch of this level. Where is it? Unless it's like in, it could be in the goo. No, it can't be. It can't be in the goo, right? It's not like in behind here, is it? Maybe it is. Is, it, is, he, is, he, in, is he in there? I don't see him. No, he's not in there. I 
promise this is a good game. <laughs> I just wish it would show on the map. Why doesn't it show on the map? Why doesn't it show? <laughs> I don't even know what that did. I think it's a good game. But like, there's a couple of little things about it that are just like, eh, that could be better. Like them not showing the gingos on the map. All right, I'm gonna go into the goo and see what happens but I can't go underwater for very long right now, so I will die. No, this is a terrible idea. No, this is, this is a terrible idea. I changed my mind immediately. I don't have the scuba seat yet. I'm about to look up a goddamn guide. I need to know where this Jinjo is. I think I've had to look this Jinjo up before. Behind the audio chip on the second floor in a corner. Find his book near the graphics chip. Okay, so I found that one. Jinjo Speed, behind the audio chip? Ugh, that's not very helpful, guide. Where is the audio chip? <laughs> oh, it's this. Right? No, it's not. I don't know which thing is the audio chip. What does an audio chip look like? Ah. I genuinely don't know. This, this guide has not been very helpful. Second floor. Oh my god. Did I like knock him over at some point? Like there's a bunch of chips here, like knocked out of place. I didn't like glitch it, did I? This is the second floor. That's such a that's such a convoluted way to describe things in this level. There's the graphics chip. You can tell because it looks like colored pencils. Oh wait. Is this it? Oh my god. You guys, it's the audio chip. See, it doesn't even show on the map when you get close to it. That's absurd. 
Rayman. What's up, Rayman? Jinjo Speed. All right. Uh, great vehicle. Okay, we're gonna modify this. Oh shit. We're, uh, because I'm a cheater, uh, I do have jets already. So we'll just throw some jets on it. Everything can be solved by jets. I don't even need that much fuel because we're not going far. We're just getting up to speed, I think. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole that's the whole mission. It took me a fucking half an hour to find it and half a second to complete it. <laughs> I love this game. I swear I love this game. Beautiful. God, I really don't want to go into Act 2. <laughs> Can I go to Banjo Land instead? <sighs> I got to I got to do I got to do more in this level. I could have gone up and let gravity take over, yeah, but like, why would I do that if I could just attach jets and then have it over with immediately? I don't, I don't even have to do the part of like going up. <laughs> it's pretty great. Because I did the glitches to get a bunch of early parts and shit on town, so I shouldn't have jets at this point. Yeah, work smarter, not harder, right? Exactly. Um, okay. I think you want to race. Chips away. Oh, that's not what this is. Oops. Or if you like, uh, there's an all-boys gaming clan, too. Is there an all-boys... Wait, what? I mean, I skipped their dialogue. I'm sorry. Beat amateur competitors in Chips Away Grand Prix. Oh, this is a race. But it's a race with Log's Choice. <laughs> <laughs> Got this weird feeling. I think it's cynicism. <laughs> okay, so we we need to heavily modify this. One of the problems with the chip racer is that it's very top heavy. It's too vertical, so you tip over easily, and it catches on stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna modify it real quick. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 I fucked up. Pick up. I wonder if there's also, like, other parts around here somewhere. That'll do. I think there actually might be a box of parts somewhere. But honestly, just making it so that it doesn't tip over is probably a good start. Oh, see, now that's the real issue. You get caught on the other racers. I hate this one. Oh, jeez. Honestly... I could probably, like, take the parts that I have and build a little motorcycle and have a better time. So I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do this with how bad I'm playing currently. Cut corners, cut corners. Dude. Honestly, six wheels is absurd. I don't need six wheels.
for all. <laughs> I gotta restart. I'm not gonna get the trophy. And I think I think what I'll do is change it even heavier. Even heavier. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna take wheels off. Drop. I'm also going to take a bunch of stuff off the side that I'll get caught on. Uh, we'll take this. 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 Put that up there. The fact that you can just straight up, re like, remove huge chunks of your vehicle is pretty great. Of course, if I fail, you know, I've spent all this time doing this. All right, now. That also may not work too good. Let's do... This. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're just waiting for me to do this. Good enough. It's at the very least going to be a much lighter and faster and not get caught on as much things. So, see if this works. Move! Move! You're ruining everything! God, if I could just get ahead of them. They're super in the way, dude. Obstacles! Oh, I'm gonna get pissed off. Ooh! <laughs> this game is great, I swear! <laughs> I promise this is a good game. It's got some bad challenges. I just like the vehicle pooped a little part. <laughs> swear to God. What did I even get? I didn't hit anything! <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> now I'm upside down! <laughs> God help me. I have to restart. I'm not going to get the trophy.
Things are going much better this time, and I haven't even modified nothing. <sighs> don't, don't jinx it, Jepson. Don't. Don't jinx it. One more, one more, one more lap. Yeah, what's up, Adam? Oh, nothing bolts in my ass. It's fine. Get out of here. No! 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 <laughs> Going backwards. Shirt! Move! No! Oh, it's actually more than one lap anyway. Move! Oh my god, look at this. Look at the. I love this game. I love this game so much. I just hate this level. <laughs> this race is actual garbage. There's like five challenges in the game that are like super cringy, and this is one of them. Clungo, you fuck! Oh boy! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him what for. Ooh. He did that on purpose, that bitch. That bitch. That little bitch. You son of a gun. I am gonna. Sh I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna shit. I'm going to sh shit. <laughs> Let's just restart. Yeah, I know you can move around parts if you jump out. It's just that I spend so long doing it, and I still... The things that I'm... The, the problem is, is that I'm just getting caught on shit, right? So I have to make the vehicle much smaller, and that just takes a while, and it's just like... I have to do that every time I restart. So I've done, I've been doing that. See, he does it on purpose. He fucking swerves into that shit on purpose. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Going the long, going the long way. No. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, you know, a little, I actually, that was the first thing I said, Adam, when we started this race, was I think you can make a motorcycle to do this easily. So let's try. Let's, let, let, like, I gotta give it a go. I gotta give it a go. What do you think? <laughs> Here we go. I'm afraid it's just gonna tip over. I'm 
mumbo or fucking yeah he jump he runs into that every time what a loser oh this is way better because the whole thing with this race is that you just get caught on stuff and that's the issue with the motorcycle is that it spins out real easy on the, on the discus But, hey, you know what? I can sneak through here. That's pretty great. No! Nope. Saved it. I think we got it this time. Motorcycle was the strat. I knew it too. I just didn't want to make. I just didn't want to sit there and make a fucking motorcycle. But it didn't actually take that long. Hallelujah. Thank you for talking some sense into me, Adam. <laughs> I know you didn't do much, but it was just like <sighs> cool beans. I just hate logbox so much. Like I want to get to all the cool levels, but we gotta we gotta go through this slog at least until I get the grunty part. Whatever that may be. There's also two Jinjos in here somewhere, but we'll do the other Jiggy challenge first. You know what a bottles? Dumb and dimmer. I just sent you the most amazing TikTok. Shall I react to it live on chat? Honestly, yes. Okay. Here we go. I just thought of the Mickey Mouse voice when I saw this, is what Nick says. Mickey and Minnie. Oh my god. Mickey and Minnie post raw dog it. <laughs> Sorry, I know you couldn't hear it over the game, but <laughs> I'm upset now. <laughs> yeah, it's for the best that you couldn't. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, you fucked the shit out of me. It's <laughs> basically what it was. <laughs> Easy. God, why was that so easy compared to the other one? <laughs> fast work, Banjo. Huh? Fast work, Banjo. That leaves me plenty of time to do some intense tinkering. All right, let's find those gingos and get the hell out of here. Honestly, I'm just going to look at the guide. <laughs> Act two, 
on the first floor near the brain chip. The brain chip? Is that this? I don't know. I guess this is the brain chip. Oh, it's Jinjo Combat, huh? Yeah, dude. Next level is Banjo Land. We actually have it unlocked, and so I can technically start it, but, I mean, at some point, I've got to get the... Grunty part. Uh, Craving. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to revisit Fire Red. <clears throat> um, the next thing that I'm doing, I'm doing crowd control on Sunday, but I'm doing Link's Awakening. But Fire Red in the future, for sure. For sure. God, having jets this early just breaks everything. Oh, you did Link's Awakening too? Damn, that's crazy. Man, you're hard at work, huh? Wait, where the f I was like, where is he? <laughs> Stupid chips are in the way. There we go. <clears throat> it's uh, it's original Link's Awakening. I mean, it's DX Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color, Game Boy, yeah, Game Boy Color. Not the Switch version. Jinjo is near a light bulb. I mean, that's a light bulb. I don't see no Jinjo. Oh, there it is. And this one's Jinjo Taxi, which is like super easy. Mostly focused on helping developers get uh, crowd control in their own games by Unity right now. Dope. That's cool. Hell yeah, dude. I love. I do love the fact that like developers are starting to get on board to like build crowd control directly into their games. I think that's super cool. I always thought that was a good idea. Ah, damn. Easy. <laughs> GG easy. Okay. Um, how many notes do I still need? Not many. 33. And a lot of them are going to be in the goop, which I won't really be able to use until I get the scuba seat. Okay. So let's go back to showdown down. <laughs> I left and you're already playing Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, dude. I got early access to Tears of the Kingdom, bro. Welcome back, Lem. How was the movie? 
Where's the Jigo vent for this level? I don't know, it looks kind of jank. Can I warp with the Jiggies? Yes. Yo, very exciting. Hey, look at that. Got a bunch of shit. And some stuff from Humba. You got some more Selly, Selly stuff? No. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> my uncle at Nintendo let me have two Zelda games. I'm just that cool. All right, this is a race, I think, against Grunty. How many Jinjos are in here? There's two Jinjos in here, right? I didn't even see. No, not that one. Oh my god. Down. Uh, act three. On the fourth floor, on the Viva Pinata disc. Oh, they're they're both in the same place. Which one do you want to do first? Jinjo Speed. Honestly, at this point, I should just build a vehicle and save it with the heckin' <laughs> jets on it. I've literally just been using the same shitty little vehicle for so long now. Because <laughs> you don't really need to do much. Thank you. 
Shrug. <laughs> and I shrug. What you got? Flush the floater? Gross. What the hell? Parky Bear needs to move a, a lot quicker to stop the glubber being used as cat litter. What's Jarhead on about now, Banjo? I'm bored of listening. Uh, sounds like Grunty sent your flea ridden sidekick Piddles to leave a surprise in the tank and pollute the glubber. Why is the di dialogue going so slow here? <laughs> Why is the dialogue going so slow here? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. That was weird. Uh, I'll give you a chance since I'm not, uh, I'm no gloater. Race me to stop Piddles leaving a floater. Keeping pace with the cutscene, maybe? Oh, I guess. Uh, if we beat her, uh, if we beat her in a race, she'll call off the planets and leave. So she says, I uh, was in a similar situation once before, a long time ago, with a genie and a giant pig. Oh my god, that's Diddy Kong Racing! Diddy Kong Racing! Guess we need to win this arbitrary race to evict Grunty and her dirty pet. And they say bears are the one with poor hygiene. I don't know that they've ever said that. Um. Choose you. We'll just use the jet again. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to turn, but. <laughs> so that's why it's called the log box. Oh my god, I hadn't even thought about that actually. Dude, honestly, I, it, I'm basically a boat with how fast I can go. <laughs> I'm basically a boat. I can just skim across the top. Woo! <laughs> I'm just bouncing everywhere. <laughs> I keep flipping though. I'm too light. <laughs> Stop flipping over. There we go. That's <laughs> the worst part. I got the floater now. Cool. Neat. Oh my god. All right. Where are we at? Okay, I still need 33 more notes. I can probably get most of those soon, right? Okay, let's go to Showdown Town. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, you thwarted Grunty amidst the innards of Logbox 720. I see. Her floater blocks are now yours. Cool. Cool beans.
Man, I just want the spring. How do I get the spring? Is that in is that in Banjo Land? That actually might be in Banjo Land. Spring changes everything. All right, I think it's time to go unlock Banjo Land now. That's right. We're going to attach shits to our vehicle. break the game and get more blocks yeah i just i want the spring because it'll make it a little easier just to get around there's a few more things i can still break but i'm honestly not that not hurting too much for it there's another block there that i can get pretty easily oh wait the plinth is over there i'm dumb Yeah, I've already cheesed it a little bit, Adam. I spent like an hour of the first stream of this just like flying around Showdown Town. But it, it, it just still makes it a little easier just to get around. There's like certain areas that just are easier to access if you're just able to jump around instead of flying. It is fun, though. Like, you can get most of the most of the parts in Showdown Town. Whoa, that's a lot, actually. Holy shit. Um, just by glitching <laughs> the game. I'm going to do it just for funsies. Here we go. Woo! Whoops. There are like a bunch of notes over here I can get to. This is going to be problematic. I wonder how high up I can go. Oh, found it. <laughs> the box is going to go. Oh, oh. 
Yo, what's up, PK? How's it going? God, I love Showdown Town at night. It's like so peaceful. Are you kidding? chilling before I turn in for the night? Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> That's all I've been doing all day. Just freaking chilling, man. Living my best life. I played like four hours of Breath of the Wild today. Really hoping I can finish that before Tears of the Kingdom. But like I've got a month left. <laughs> Starting to get worried. Um, just doing a casual little glitch to get that box out of the wall. Yo, wait, I think I got a spring. I got a large jet. Dude, that was... Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a good pull. Damn. I've got springs now. I just don't have the grunty springs, so I still don't have springs on my main vehicle here, but still. Good. That's the good shit right there. Whatever's in here is probably less good, but that's fine. Say God damn you. I hope so. I hope so. Uh oh. Oh, what is happening? What what is this? Look at this madness. Stay on there. Oh my god, please just stay on the vehicle! <laughs> I swear this game is perfect. <laughs> upright. <laughs> stay upright. <laughs> the lopsided there, yeah. That's what she said. I'm sorry. It's degenerate hours. <clears throat> Officially. Um, um, um. 
Ooh, a detacher. Ooh. Ooh. Deta you can do a lot with detachers. <clears throat> What's a detacher do? Um, so you can basically hook two parts of your vehicle together and then you push a button to release the detacher. So you can ch like take a chunk of your vehicle off. And you can imagine that there's a lot of application for that, right? Like if you wanted to have like, <clears throat> I don't know, like a car that transform, like you can make a lot of transforming vehicles using it, basically. I wonder if I can get this one or if that's going to be too far in there. Yeah, that's way too far in there. That's pretty great. Yeah, I, I've seen people make like a literal transformer too. Um, and like... I don't know. I've seen all kinds of creative stuff. I used to be on the uh, the Nuts and Bolts, like, fan forum when the game first came out. And I saw a lot of really creative things built in there. They also ran a, uh, a contest. I think they call it, like, the Minion Contest or something. And it was, like, a build challenge. <clears throat> and the winners had their um, their vehicles immortalized in the game. Um, guess who did win the contest? <laughs> Take a wild guess. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, so I don't know if you did the um, the stop and swap stuff, Adam. But uh, you know the rotating turret? That was me. Yeah, there's a few there's a few different ones in there, but that's like one of the coolest like banjo things of my entire life. <laughs> Dude, honestly, dropping these into the lake was the worst thing that could have happened. I'm pretty mad about this. There's also a random jiggy down here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I'm touching them. But the outline, the the yellow outline makes it hard to see where it's at. <clears throat> I'm going to drown. Can I drown after I get all the notes at least? Teach. Teach. No? Okay. Now I can drown. Now I can drown peacefully. I mean, you just come back to life is the thing. <clears throat> I made a vehicle that replicated Banjo and Kazooie's move set from Tui. Whoa. Wait, how does that work? Their move set from Tui. That's dope, though. That's a cool idea. Yeah, I think they were just impressed by the fact that, like, like rotating anything was not a thing in the game. Like, you had to, like, that's that's where the, the detacher came in handy. Like, I think I, I had it. Well, no, I don't even know if I did that. My vehicle was basically broken up into two parts. And, like, there was an upper part of the turret that had 
like bumpers or something on the bottom of it so that it could slide freely inside of uh, the bottom half of the turret. And then it used, I think it used jets facing in opposite directions so that you could turn it back and forth. So you would reverse to turn it counterclockwise. Um, and then just use the gas to turn it clockwise. And then in order to aim up and down, it had a balloon on the front of it. So you could aim at a higher, like it could, it could tilt upwards. It was pretty grand. And I actually, I made like a way better version of it after I won the contest too. I still have that version of it, I think, on my original Xbox 360. Jesus Christ with this. Just, just, just ass. Just, just ass. You know? <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Did it have any practical use? There is one challenge that I think that it could be useful in. There's one challenge where you have to defeat a bunch of flying enemies. Um, and normally I think that they want you to use like a boat or something and swim around it because it's like it's in Nutty Acres. You know where that there's that big circular pool and with like the one little island in the middle. So if you put the turret on the island in the middle, it's actually, you could actually win that challenge using the turret. But besides that, there's not really any practical use. It was just cool. Freeze easy. Hey, there's the balloons. Cool. I guess that's fine. That feels like I didn't get very much for three crates though, huh? Right? I feel like I didn't get very much there. Oh yeah, the Tui enemy vehicle. It was like the little green dudes from Tui. I was one of the other ones that won. I can't remember what the other vehicles were. God, my, uh, my username on those Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts forums were, it was pretty cringe. I'm pretty sure my name was Banjo the number four ever. Banjo forever. <laughs> I'm so cringe. Not worse than Cool Boy Man. Yeah, but you own it, though. <laughs> you own it, though. You know what I mean? Ah, shit. I don't think if I, I don't think I can own Banjo forever if I tried. Yeah, like Pokemon forever. Exactly. My first ever AIM username was Joshy Boy 007. Cuz I thought that that 007 was cooler than 007. Joshy Boy. <laughs> Banjo 5 ever. Pretty sure that penguin called me an asshole. <laughs> asshole. What? How did that even happen? <clears throat> oh, colored notes like nuts, uh, like nuts and bolts for the two E rando. Wait, how does that work? What is that? How does that? What? Whoa.
What, 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 what? Dude, I'm so excited for the 2E Rando. Notes to be different colors and they're worth different values. Dude, that's tight. I'm, I'm ready, dude. I'm really, I'm ready. Very excited. I will be on that immediately. Yeah, Adam in uh, chat here is working on the 2E Rando. Oh my god, DK64 randomizer. God help us all. Yeah. I have yet to try the DK64 randomizer, but also I don't... <sighs> DK64 is already a beast. <laughs> I, don't, I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't think I know the game well enough. <laughs> DK64 is good, um, but there was some choice. They made there's some there's some choices that they made with the video game that are less than ideal. Well, they just they just deposit it immediately. Brand new level of Klungo's amazing game hero. Klungo saves the world. Now ready to play all challenges. Welcome at Klungo's Arcade on the pier. Oh Jesus getting lively out here on the streets. Better deploy more of my men to diligently and sa uh, selflessly uphold the law. A lot's happening at 13 Jiggies. Found a Jiggy tamper switch. It has helpfully massaged your Jiggy score. In effect, giving you a free Jiggy. I knew I should have deactivated those things. Still, points for effort. Jesus Christ. Yeah, um... One of the things that, like, if I were to play DK64 again, I would play it with the mod that lets you change Kongs anywhere. Because I really don't think that that ha hampers the gameplay in any meaningful way. And it just it is a good quality of life improvement. Yeah, it just cuts down on the time it takes to go walk to the switch barrel. I did a, what was 101% whatever playthrough of DK64 a few years ago. That was the last time I played DK64. And by a few years ago, I mean like seven years ago. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Tick Boy? The game knows that I'm a cheater. <laughs> so they're like, here, here's another obstacle you can't get over without a box to fly. Sad. This game is so nostalgic for me. This game came along at the perfect time. Like kind of like in the middle of my teenage years. I 
don't know what this is doing. <laughs> I don't know what that was for. I don't think I got anything out of that currently. That's for later. <laughs> Oh, shit. I just spent way too long building weird shit. And the thing is, is like, one of the things I love about this game is that you can just like fuck around and build vehicles with your friends in the testo track. <clears throat> you can just have like, you can, the only thing that doesn't work in there is the detachers, unfortunately. But you can just like, screw around, <laughs> just hang out. It was great. I just spent hours with my friends on Xbox Live just building shit and showing each other, like, what we can build. Built a city in the tester track! Like, eight of us making different buildings. That's awesome, actually. I always thought it would be really... Like, I, it, I always thought it would be really cool if there were ever to be... I mean, there never will be, but if there were to ever be, like, a Nuts and Bolts sequel that they would um, have like build zones for puzzles. So you had to like build something, not just a vehicle, but like something other than a vehicle in like a spot in the level to like do something like a crane to lift something up or like a elevator to get up higher into a part of the level you couldn't access otherwise, or like shit like that. And so, like, I feel like, oh, God, and there's so much, ah, there's so much potential for mods for this game. I just wish it was officially, like, on PC and not just. Somebody's going to make mods. <laughs> Somebody should make mods for this. It can't be me. I don't know how to do that shit. Yeah, that's that's the other thing is like how many people would actually play it, <laughs> and the answer is no one. <laughs> Look, man, I've been trying to spread the good word of nuts and bolts for years now. I've been trying to spread the good word, hoping people will get it. I think I've gotten some people into it. Yep, it does. I used to get really upset by, like, the attitude towards Nuts and Bolts. I'm like, have you played it recently? Have you played it at all? A lot of the people who are like, oh, Nuts and Bolts is shit. We don't talk about Nuts and Bolts. Have never even touched it. Or haven't gotten past the first level. It's like, you really didn't give it a chance. You know, and I think that's one of the things that, I don't know, that's something that really disappoints me. Thing is that most people don't. <laughs> if you can't get past the first hour of the game, you know, which I get it. Like that, that's a sign of a not super great game if it has a really un unflattering start. And it does have a very unflattering start. But once you unlock all the cool vehicle parts, like, holy shit. No, don't flip over, you son of a gun. Oh, there we go. We're going down like the Titanic over here. So many, so many boxes. What we got, Mumbo? 
Armor, meh. Small engine, meh. Ejector seat, could be cool. Boot in a box, meh. Speco spy, meh. Tow bar, tow bar, tow bar. Tow bar. Speco spy helps you find Jinjos. I think. So that could be useful. Um, shoot. Oh, Boggy's Gym. Hold up. Wait. I have not actually done this yet. Which is absurd. So, Boggy. Hello, YouTube. Mrs. Boggy kicked me out to earn my keep. So I bought this old gym for Mr. Fit as a. Oh, I skipped it. So you can upgrade the speed of Banjo, you can upgrade his strength. And I guess his stamina. I don't know how useful any of that really is, because how often do you spend on your feet? But I just spent a lot of notes doing this. Yeah, I should check out the Bingo Hall, you're right. I probably have a lot of gingos by this point. To unlock parts and shit. Wow, that's like all my notes. <laughs> Literally all my notes. <laughs> Pretty much. Actually, I saw some notes over here. Oh, these these suck. Here, we're just gonna we're just gonna bust through it. Schmack. Oh wait, that one's oh, there we go. I think there's actually a free jiggy somewhere around here too. He's so strong. So strong, so fast. Oh God, I'm down here now. <laughs> Yeah, speed upgrade is probably the most important thing. Because I honestly, I really don't know how many times you really fight things, like, <laughs> with the wrench, just, like, hitting stuff. I mean, it happens sometimes, but it's, like, not even that useful. Familiar face. Welcome to the court of King Jingling, Big Cheese of the Jinjos. All right, so as you could, this is what the Jinjos are used for. So as you collect Jinjos throughout, you can use them to like claim prizes on here. So like, I think this column prize, there's no column prize here for these first couple. I really don't have that many Jinjos in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, the first column prize is here, which technically I can get. Citrus Slick, Smoke Sphere, Stereo. Stereo is cool, I like Stereo. Wings! Wings. Folding wings. Nonetheless. God. I actually almost have enough to do it. I am one red short of getting folding wings at this stage. I am one red Jinjo short of getting folding wings at this stage. It won't let me, though, it looks like. For some reason. Oh, I have to do this, that's why. <laughs> like, look at this. Are you kidding me? I am one red short. <laughs> All right, well, we'll do that. I'll come back when I get a bunch more Jinjos. I actually haven't made it that far into the game. I've spent most of my time in Showdown Town glitching my way around to get parts. <laughs> I've spent so long here.
Okay, we can go to Banjo Land now. <laughs> we can go to Banjo Land. I guess. Banjo Land is great, but it makes me sad. Banjo, it's like they took Banjo Kazooie and just chopped it all up. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's also cool. Took everything that you love about Banjo Kazooie and chopped it up, like glued it together. Love these intros. All right. Ah, oh, but the music, though. Ah, I love this. Oh my god, I could just spend all day in here, actually. <gasps> yeah, Clanker got chopped up the most. Poor Clanker. Speaking of Clanker, here he is. At least his torso. <laughs> Part of it. Oh my god, is the first challenge Clanker? It is, isn't it? You go blind, you Clanker! <laughs> oh, rare. Ahoy, Banjo! Clanker here has found himself in, a, in deep water. Think you could help a salty sea hippo stand up for his ho hoary old mate? Yeah, they know what they're doing. Doesn't look like Clanker's in much of a position to stand up for himself. No, and those thieving grunt bots be after his eyes. Not his eyes, my eyes. Look, look with your special eyes. Okay, so like, here's the question. What kind of vehicle should I build here? I should build some. I mean, it's got to have. It's got to shoot. Gun fingers. A hand with gun fingers. Well, let's put ammo on it first. First and foremost. And then, uh, what's the one that like homes in on enemies? Do the eggs home in on enemies? What? It, which one is it? Weapons it uses ammo. Torpedo does. Do the eggs home in on enemies? I think they do. I think eggs are gonna be my go-to here. Torpedo, torpedo might not be a bad thing to have on board too. TBH. I'm gonna probably want way more ammo than that. Not way more, just like a couple more. I just make the whole thing out of ammo. Oh, I only have one medium. Okay, that's problematic. Hopefully that's not lopsided. I don't know what the weight is of the the ammo. 
Does it even show information? Wait, medium. Wait, medium. Oh, so one of these is the same weight as one of these? That could be problematic. Here, let's get rid of the medium. We'll just balance it out. And then we'll do a wedge. Again, I don't like going too complicated with these because like, it doesn't need to be. Like, that's probably good enough. Oh, it doesn't have any... Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> it doesn't have any way of driving. How many medium engines do I have? Just one? Oh, I have two. Let's go. This thing looks ridiculous, but I'm here for it. This game looks interesting. I haven't seen much of this game before. Dude, you're in for a treat. It's fantastic. It really is. There's some jank to it, but like what? Like what? Game. No game is perfect. <laughs> Honestly, having like a just a turret that I can get into might even be better than this. Truthfully. He's also he also provides a box that has like some other shit in it. down. Jesus. I gotta kill one more. Did I get him? Did I get him? There we go. That was close. I think I got the trophy though. My favorite game is Tui and that has a bunch of problems. Yeah, it does. Tui's problem is the pacing is a little weird of like getting the jiggies. Like some jiggies you get so quickly and some jiggies take the entire game to get. It's weird. Um, but I love Tui. I love Tui. I just think, I think this game got shit on so much because people wanted Banjo 3. They wanted a banjo game that felt and played like their their the banjo games that they had played before, but this game is truly ahead of its time. Like it did some sh some stuff that like no other game has ever done actually, and then it does some other things that like other games do now. <laughs> like it's got like a kind of an open world game feel. It's got it's a very it's very like. GTA meets Lego, which is like kind of weird, right? Yeah, this was before Minecraft, exactly. Kind of insane, right? Ice to see you. Banjo, it's a health and safety catastrophe. George has been sleep sliding again. Didn't George like die. I killed him in Banjo-Tooie. We need to mount a rescue operation pronto. I can't even count the number of exhibit guidelines being broken.
George can't spend his final hours in solitude. If he's not re reunited with Mildred soon, he'll... Oh, I didn't read the rest of that. That's fine. Beetle breath. Built a special ice key relocation vehicle. I'm concerned about this. Yeah, continuity problem. Yeah, George and Mildred are dead. <laughs> we killed them. All right. So where are we taking this? We're just like pushing it off. Oh, he exploded. What? What? Um. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm bringing Mild- oh, okay, sorry. I wasn't supposed to just- I wasn't supposed to kill Mildred. I'm bringing him up. <laughs> That's right. For some reason, I had it in my head that I was taking her down for some reason. vehicle is busted, so it's kind of <laughs> jank here. No, no, I need that. Easy peasy. He's going to roll away now, though. Spot on, Banjo. Thanks, Bottles. <laughs> Looks so different in HD, I know. Everything looks really weird. I kind of see here's that's a that's another cr criticism of this game. Besides some of the janky gameplay, people didn't like the visuals of it. But I I always liked the. I don't know if that's just like nostalgia screaming at me, but I kind of always liked it. I mean, it's not perfect. But. Yeah. They tried to update the blocky style of the N64 models. Like, I, I remember that there was like an interview or something and they were like, we tried to make him look like more like HD and roundy or whatever. And it's like, it just didn't look right. And so they wanted to like give everybody a little bit more of like a, a blockier look to, to go with the N64 models. But I don't know. I like it. I don't think it's a good look. All right, are we jetting? I think we might have to jet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna make this heavier so that it doesn't fly around everywhere. And I'm gonna spread the legs out just a little bit. so that it's a little bit more stable. Something like that. This might be too heavy, actually. And also, jets kind of make it so that the vehicle sort of swerves a lot. So I don't know if I like that, but we'll see. Um...
Am I gonna go through water in this race? I don't know if they mentioned that. Probably not. I mean, it's only the first mission of Banjo Land. Didn't even notice the banjo plush. Dude, yeah. So whenever you get out of your vehicle, it replaces it with like a blow up banjo balloon. And I remember doing some art in MS Paint of that banjo blow up balloon. And uh, who was it? Was it Greg Mails? One of the rare team wanted to use it as their desktop background, which I thought was pretty cool. Like, I, I was very flattered because it was an MS Paint art and like it was really good. It was like the best MS Paint art you've ever seen. <laughs> like it wasn't janky as fuck. It was like legit good. <laughs> I wish I still had that drawing somewhere. It's like on an old computer somewhere and I could never find it again. And those forums don't exist anymore. So I wonder if they have a backup of those for like the information from those forums somewhere. Be kind of cool. Maybe archive. You might. Mm, I wonder if you could find it on archive, on the Wayback Machine. Ooh, I'll have to look. Yo, we going? See, this vehicle actually runs pretty well, besides the ice physics, and also it swerves a little bit when I get going. Yeah, honestly, I feel the same way, Rayman. Like, obviously, I would have loved to have a Banjo 3. But, um, you know, the fact that we got anything at all and we got to see Banjo again. And also, he was in kind of like a fun, creative adventure. Like, I'm happy with that. At least we didn't get nothing ever. And it just died, right? And Banjo and Smash! Oh, you have no idea how excited I was. I mean, you do, because you probably saw the reaction. Nobody thought it was possible. Nobody thought it was possible. And then I freaked out again when they put Banjo-Kazooie on the NSO. I was like, that's not gonna happen. Like there's a there's a there's a video like a YouTube short that I posted when that happened, and in the short, I'm I'm literally out loud I said ah oh, too bad that Banjo will never be here though right while, while they're showing the N64 games and then it gets to the very end and there it is <laughs> like seconds after I said that <laughs> still waiting for Tui yeah that'll never happen <laughs> God dude it better though. It'll happen. It'll happen. Eventually, it'll happen. Do I want to happen? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It'll happen. Oh, he's got me. He's got me trapped right now because I picked the wrong vehicle. Oh, how about that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, I can't wait to get folding wings. Or any kind of wings. I don't think I have wings yet. But folding wings. So useful. Look, it's Cheeto, you guys. Kinda. <laughs> Poor guy. vehicle is not happy with me. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> I think the other Jinjo is like on top of the hat, I want to say. Oh no, he's right here. There is one up on top of the hat eventually. Jinjo speed. The fact that we have also have Banjo mods and randomizers made the original game so fun to play and got me back into the series. Can't wait for Tui Rando. Yeah, Rayman. Hell yeah, brother. Me too really keeping me going right now, honestly. Banjo mods. I haven't played many of them, which is sad. Because I want to, like, record them for YouTube. That's why I haven't, because... Oh, that was quick. And that takes, like, effort and stuff. You have some recommendations? I have a whole list of them that I want to get through that, um, that uh, my friend the Juker sent me. So I'm going to go through them, and then, yeah, I'm sure there's tons out there now. But if I can turn my YouTube channel into, like, here's the mods channel for Banjo and Mario, please show me all of the Banjo and Mario mods and Zelda mods. We can do a Zelda mod. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing drag my fucking vehicle around. How dare you? Oh my god, it's happening again. Here we go! We're flying! Let's go! <laughs> I actually think I have everything in here now. Has the game always been in front of you? Yes. And you know why that is? Because I don't cover up the game at all with anything. I think that's very important. Nothing, no part of the game is ever covered up on my stream right now. The alerts, they go off up there. You know, we got all the things on the side. Even the bits cup, like the bits drop behind the video. Because I don't want to cover up the game. You know what I'm saying? Sonoki! Sonoki! Hi. Banjo makes me strong. Hell yeah. Get them gains, Sonoki. No pain, no gain. Feel the burn. Nah, Banjo's been good. 
I'm very happy to be playing this right now. This banjo is my happy place. Well, now I've uh, more than doubled the notes that we started with. So, been making pretty good time with the game, I guess. Feeling sporty, you might like to venture into a world I call the Jagosium. Yes! Jagosium. I love the Jagosium. Humba has some new parts to buy, too. Yes, Jagosium has the best challenges in the entire game. And one really shitty challenge. But that shitty challenge can be rectified by editing your vehicle. The one where you have to drive, uh, where it reverses your controls, your driving controls. <sighs> like left is right and right is left or whatever. But you can edit it to where you fix that. Which is just weird, truly. All right, I'm gonna go open the Jagosium. And then we'll go back to Banjo Land because I do want to get the spring, springy spring for my vehicle here. I don't know why I went up the long way, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, I guess we've been going for six hours now, huh? I've been having a good time. Oh, nope, oh, get back here, ball. Do you think they should have made it more evident that you can edit the vehicles and game mid challenge? Maybe, um, but, I mean, every challenge is completable with the vehicle that they give you. So, you know, it's not that... It's not like it's that detrimental. Oh, it just floats up there. Okay, cool. Uh, if you, if you for some reason, can't... Um, if, like, if you never figure out how to edit the vehicles, at least you can still finish the game. In fact, you can probably get the trophy without editing your vehicles at all. In most cases. Well, no. There's a couple where you can't. I feel like they make it fairly obvious, though. Because there's a few times in the game where they, like, give you extra parts in a box. And it's like, well, how do you add these extra parts? And the game kind of tells you if you, like, pay attention to the dialogue and stuff. Challenge mode. Only use the vehicle they give you. Can you okay? But can you can you add on to it? Because I don't think the game would be possible otherwise. You have nothing at the start. That's true, be master. There's a couple that I can think of. Like, I did one in one of the earliest ones. The one where you have to take the bomb to bottles in Nutty Acres. That one I'm pretty sure is impossible unless you edit the vehicle. The least amount of edits, I suppose. I think that could be a cool challenge. Like, just use the one vehicle and, like, you can never remove parts from it. You can just add parts and that's it. You probably can't make it too far, right? With just the vehicle from Showdown Town. I can't imagine you can make it that far, but maybe. 
There's definitely some fun challenge ideas. All right, well, Jigosium is open. We can go straight to Jigosium level one if I wanted to. But I'd rather do another Banjo Land, I think. Because I really want to get that spring. And that's probably coming up soon. I would guess. There is a, there's a limit to the garage, yeah. There's a limit to the amount of parts you can use in the garage. I think there's a glitch to overcome the limit, though. Pretty sure. Oh, it's patched. Gross. It does fuck with the game, is the thing. So... God, it's so slow. Like, imagine doing the whole game in this vehicle. Hey, if I do this Jinjo speed challenge, I can get folding wings now. It's exciting. When you can make planes that can turn into cars, that's my favorite thing ever. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to back out. <laughs> I like how just quitting the challenge is like, you lost, idiot. It's like, I just, I just quit. We didn't even start. <laughs> Quitters never win. True, though. Yo, it's Mr. Fit. The referee's an aardvark. Oh my god. I don't even know what this is. Roll up, roll up! Who wants to take on the Stony Kickball Challenge? Hey there, Slim. Fancy knocking a ball around. I guess. It's hardly a challenge, Ant Breath. Those guys don't even have feet to kick with. The rules are simple enough for even the bird to understand. Check out how many goals I scored within the time limit thanks to my sparkling football skills. Sounds pretty straightforward, so where are the balls? Park on the red switch to dispense the balls. Make them count by hitting them into the old onion bag over there. The old onion bag. Uh, a vehicle for moving and striking balls. Okay. Man, there's a couple ways I could approach this. One of the things I'm gonna do, I think, is put, um, is it a weapon? Is it a weapon? Ammo free? Yes. Put a boot in the box, like right on the front. And then we'll build like a little catcher on the front. Put the keep the balls in the catcher. I wish I had the suck and blow. That would make this easy. Yes, the suck and blow. But I don't have that yet. At least I don't think. I have the liquid squirter.
A spring would probably also work instead of the boot in the box. Let's do that instead, actually. Boot in the box might fuck with us. In fact, let's put a couple of springs. Then, I don't know, I'll build just like a catcher. How big is the ball? Do I want to do one ball at a time? Is that a good idea? I wish I had the suck and blow. <laughs> the suck and blow would make this super easy. Honestly, I think this needs to be more forward, if anything. What if it was a corner? remember how big these balls are. <laughs> That's cause they're friends. <laughs> Banjo, Banjo is probably Kazooie's only friend. <laughs> cause she's so mean. but they're such good wins. Should I extend this out one more just to make sure the balls don't like slip out the side? Don't you hate it when the balls slip out the side? on new underwear. <laughs> I hope this is big enough for the balls. Oh, it totally is. Sick. Oh my god. I actually think there's like there's too much power down in this one. Oh, I'm supposed to get in the goal. I literally chucked it into the goalie. Good lord. Not a great start. Taking one ball at a time is going to be problematic, I think. This is so slippery. Oh no. 
don't think this is this is the best way to do this. Oh, the grunt bots are helping now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, I've got the jiggy. There weren't so many goddamn cows. Woo! You do need a lot for the bonus. Four more isn't gonna do it. It's like six more. And meanwhile, the grunt bots are doing their thing. Honestly, I think I might be better off building. <sighs> this sucks that I have to do this, but I think I would be better off building like a big cage with like a giant tray and just dropping him in the top. Made a vehicle that would score goals while sitting on the button? What? Somebody, somebody, that's crazy. Use the detacher. Oh, you keep a part on it. And so more balls just keep spawning so that you can then like position the thing to launch them over or something. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do is just make a giant cage and put as many balls in the cage as possible. Ooh, oh, man. That's what I'm going to do. In fact, we're going to actually pull out uh, this one. And then we'll change it. Do I have the biggest tray yet? Large box, would that be helpful? Large tray will do it. Honestly, we're just gonna clear all this. I hate starting from scratch, but here we are. I'm gonna make a thing that I can fit like four balls in. Just take, just do three runs of four balls. Be easy. Yeah, if I had wings, I could use them as doors. I think I could technically go get wings now, though. The folding wings. But if I can just drop them in the top, like I think we'll be fine. Uh, should I make them out of heavy parts just so they don't fall apart? Probably. I just don't want it to get too heavy. Cause it's gonna be kind of big. I fear that I will run over the part limit here. I mean, that, like how many balls can I put in there? <laughs> like I don't even need, 
I think that's good. Uh, I need, wait, hold on. I need like power. Alright. <laughs> this is so stupid. Let's see what happens. See how many balls I can fit in this. Probably f put four or five balls in this, right? I bet. No, more. More balls. More balls. Get five out. Oh no, these balls are much bigger than they look. <laughs> if I can get four in there though, like that was my goal the whole time. I might actually be able to get more. Holy shit. All right, okay, I can at least do four. And honestly, I could make the walls a little bit higher if I needed to. Bruh, get out of here. Nobody liked you. God, that ball did not come farther enough over here. God, it's so heavy. <laughs> Moving it around is like a tank. It just like keeps going. Yo, Marley Man, thanks for the raid. What's up, dude? Balls in the cart. Balls in the cart. Four balls or three balls? Three balls was struggling. We're putting them all. <laughs> and we'll just go slow, right? Right, you guys? Just go slow. Stay. 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 Hallelujah. All right, one more pass. I only need a couple. I need, what, two? Two more? God, I hope it's two more. Thank you. Worked for me. <laughs> but yeah, I could see like a detacher working really well for this to like... Just put a part of your vehicle here so that when it shoots it out, it lands directly in the vehicle and then you can go from there. I have, I have sufficiently used my brain. It's the garbage one. Oh, I remember this. Wasting away. This place is a mess. I thought you were supposed to be the hired cleaner around here, Boggy. Well, I thought about doing it, but uh, all the other thinking tired me out. Could you take over? There's a Jiggy in it for you. 
This is another, like, carry shit to the place thing. But all you have to do is, like, pick up garbage and put it in the trash can that's right there. Like, all the garbage is just around it, so you just kind of have to pick it up and put it in the trash. <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere. So you just need, like, a vehicle that can fly upwards and put stuff in it, I guess. A vehicle that can lift objects in the air will be useful. Yeah. Choose vehicle. This one. Hopefully this is big enough. Yeah, it totally is. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. The folding propellers don't unfold because the trash is in the way. Surprisingly, it works, though, if if I just put it in with them already unfolded. <laughs> Yo, a big L's burger. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not going to get the trophy because I'm dilly-dallying here. You did? Shit. <laughs> Uploading the leaderboard? Don't do that. Hey, you can eat your dinner off this floor. Mmm, <laughs> dinner. Alright, let's do it again. All the game worlds in this game, Marty Man, are made by Log, so they're actually, like, not, like, in the same world as the original Banjo games, if that makes sense. Plus, also, Banjo-Kazooie is known for breaking the fourth wall. And also, it was, like, eight years after the original, so I don't think they cared that much. <laughs> but Banjo-Kazooie frequently breaks the fourth wall. Regardless. Jinjos. It's got a cannon, probably. You can put it on a vehicle. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, this game is the third game in the franchise. Directly continuing after 2 and Kazooie. Did I do all the Jinchos? I think I did. Let's go back to Showdown Town. <clears throat> I think that was everything in there. Ah, 
Oh, no, there is one more Jinjo. Yeah, its concept of continuity is loose at best. I think if you're playing Banjo for like the overarching storyline, you're doing it wrong, probably. All right, where be the final Jinjo? Avast ye, Jinjo! There, upon the bridge! It's time for you to die. You always use the boot in the box for the Jinjo hurling ones? Man, I just try to like knock into them with a big heavy vehicle usually. I'm gonna see what happens if I just use the same one that I've been using. <laughs> see what happens. Have a good night, Janet Zarn. Ovenus, what's up? Boink. See, like, look at how good that was. Look at that shit. Good enough, at least. It's got, like, some really, like, neat features, Sonoki. And, like, my favorite aspect of it isn't even, like, doing the main game and doing the challenges and exploring the worlds or anything like that. It really is just spending hours upon hours building vehicles and trying out different things. It's so, like, it's so open-ended that way. Like, you can try and build, like, anything. And then just, like, I don't know. It's great. Yeah, that's a good idea, Ryan. Or Rayman. I almost called you Ryan. It's Rayman's real name, Ryan. Man, that's a game I haven't played in a long time. I have not played a Rayman game in a hot minute. I've been thinking about Rayman a lot. I've been thinking about Rayman 3 specifically quite a lot. Saw Banjo plus LGBT streamer, so I stopped by to check it out. Hell yeah. Banjo is all Banjo is my lifeblood, man. Banjo is my lifeblood. It keeps me going. <laughs> what about Rayman 3 specifically? Grew up with the great escape. Yeah, uh, so Rayman, th like, so Rayman 3, I don't know. I was just thinking about it. It's just very quirky. It's different than Rayman 2 um, in its own in its own ways. I don't know. I've just been thinking about it. That's all. Like, scenarios from that game keep popping into, into my head. I did Let's Play them. Truthfully, I'm not that much of a fan of my Rayman 3 Let's Play because I was a very, um self-conscious about it at the time. I felt very much like I wasn't like, I didn't know enough about the game. And so I felt like I was kind of letting people down, which was not the case. And I didn't think it was actually better than I remember it being, but I would love to go through and play that game again. And Rayman 2, I haven't played Rayman 2 in a very long time. Like the last time I played the entirety of that game was probably my let's play, which was like a decade ago. Wait, can you edit the vehicles in this one too? No, you can't. Oh, the Jinjo fell out. Hold on, let's just restart. I don't know why he fell out. That was weird. Yeah, it was, Cody. And now I have the remix as one of my alerts. It's a go alert too. Try 
trying to remember who that was made by. I think it was made by I Sneak sometimes, which is a name I haven't thought about in a while. Easy. Oh, where's my other vehicle? I think it might be time to stop. <laughs> I've been going for a very long time today. <laughs> it's almost time to stop. I'll go for a little bit longer. It's getting late, and I've tried to fix my sleep schedule, and I don't want to fuck it up again. I just got here. I know. I'm sorry. I have been streaming for almost seven hours, which is, like, a long time for me. <laughs> But I still have my drink left, so we'll go for a tiny bit longer. What's wrong, Mr. Fit? Look, have you seen a ghost? Or maybe just your reflection. Yeah, he's kind of scary. That idiot Klungo left without switching on the security cameras. This place gives me the creeps at night. Sleep is more important, I agree. I'm not actually not that tired, though, unfortunately. So that's a problem. That's all right. Oh, this is the one where I have to reactivate the security cameras? Is that it? Vehicle can then go anywhere it would be an advantage. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go get the folding wings and make a plane. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the folding wings and make a plane. <laughs> like I could make a helicopter and we could do that or whatever, but I think that's gonna be my best bet here and more fun, truthfully. First, I'm just going to drown. gonna be hell in logbox for sure honestly folding wing plane and logbox not too bad because you can fold it up so that it like doesn't catch on stuff if you're like flying around you just like land and drive around for a second and then you can fold them it's actually better in almost every application you'll see it's great um where am i going bingo we're going to bingo it's pretty great well, you've played the game before, Rayman. You know. You know all about the folding wings. Yeah, navigating is never fun in that level regardless. All right, give me them folding wings, baby. Column prize. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm already playing my next venture, Jinjo Window Cleaning. All right, bud, whatever. Have fun. <laughs> Why don't I have the warp that goes to where Banjo Land is? Did I not activate it? Isn't there a warp like literally right here somewhere? Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, there totally is. I never, I never activated it. Are you kidding me? It's been here the whole time and I never touched it. Wild.
All right. Let's get to building a plane, shall we? with a jet. Look at this ugly little plane. I love it. It's so ugly. And I love it. Very basic plane. <laughs> if I spent more than five seconds on a vehicle, I'd make it look cool. But we won't be doing that. <laughs> Not for the challenges, anyway. It's just called plane. I'm so creative tonight. <laughs> I promise. I promise I'm more creative than this usually. Honestly, this might be too much speed. <laughs> for what I need. <laughs> Good plane. <laughs> yes. Oh no! No! Up! Up! Oh, I'm stuck! It's fine. It's going well. <laughs> Good enough. God, this takes so long. Oh, I should have put springs on the bottom of it. That's what I should have done. I still have time. Honestly, hold on. I'm gonna re reassemble this. I'm gonna make it less crazy. It's got too much power. We don't need that much power. And I'm gonna put a spring on the bottom of it. Not as high as I was hoping to spring. <laughs> That's fine. Wait, what? You can't just destroy the fucking thing? Are you serious? What is this shit? Dude, this game. I'm telling you what.
Oh, I didn't see that there. Oh, fucking tree. Oh, I knocked the whole tree over. Dude, are you, you're kidding me. Okay, I'm not gonna do this right now. <laughs> I'm not doing this right now. I'm over it. Uh, seven hours of streaming later, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. That's it. I'm out. I give up. I tap out. Fuck. <laughs> oh, bless you guys. Bless you. I'm over it. No more seven hour streams. <laughs> I am going to play more of this tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be seven hours though, but I'll play more of this tomorrow. Yeah, don't forget the spec goes fight. Remind me, remind me. All right, guys. Uh, let's see if there's anybody live that we might want to raid. I'm sure many of you are probably gonna head to bed. Wow, there's a bunch of people live right now. Um, okay. Let's raid Jiggy. How long has he been going for? Jiggy's been going for a while. I wonder if he I wonder how long he's still going for. He's doing the Zelda wheel tonight, which has been fun. So let's read Jiggy. Invalid username. Oops, that's because I spelled Jiggy wrong. There we go. Alright guys. Enjoy Jiggy's stream. Go say whatever in his chat. Just say hi, I guess. I don't know. We don't have a read message, I guess, tonight. Let's do whatever. Uh, go follow the boy. He's doing... He's trying to beat every single Zelda game before Tears of the Kingdom drops. Um, and he's doing that with the Zelda wheel. So every... certain amount of subscribers his channel gets, he spins a wheel and plays a different Zelda game. And he's just going through it like that. Which is kind of a cool idea. So, uh, Go support the boy. And have a great night. Every 10 subs? Every 10 subs. Or it's 10 subs until the next one. Is it always every 10 subs? I don't know. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. I'm tired. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I have a more likely chance of beating Breath of the Wild compared to him. True, 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 true. So we're going to play more of that tomorrow along with Nuts and Bolts. We're going to do basically the same thing today, but we're going to flip it. So it'll be Banjo first, Nuts and Bolts after. That way my brain isn't completely dead by Nuts and Bolts. All right. Have a good night, everybody.